No time for fake ones. Got me. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa. The Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Hey, Nicole, how can we help you? Um, okay, so I went on a date with this guy who I really like. Mm-hmm. His name's Preston. He was just, like, very cool. We super hit it off. I had a really great time, and then he's just been, like, completely MIA, and I don't know why. Okay, so l- let's talk about this great time. What happened? I, I Honestly, I, I don't know. Like, my coworker kind of set us up. I guess he told him that I was cute. He was a buddy of his. And like, yeah, we went out for dinner. Like, it was it was chill. I really liked the guy. The conversation was easy. Like, and then at the end, we kind of were like, oh yeah, let's meet up again. And it just he completely ghosted. I, I have no idea. Hmm. Is there anything you think you did that uh, turned him off? If, if put it this way, if you had to bet money on what you did wrong, <laughs> what, what would you uh, bet on? I didn't do anything crazy. Like, I, I I don't know. I mean, maybe I I was like, maybe I talk too much. I, I, I really don't know. These are my favorite when mm-hmm. the person is just clueless as to what they did wrong. Okay, well, we'll try and give this guy a call for you next, okay? Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I have no idea. Hello? Hi, is this Preston? Yeah, this is Tim. Oh, perfect. Uh, Preston, uh, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. Please don't hang up. I can explain uh, why we're calling you. I can explain how we got your phone number and everything. It's all good. We got your phone number from a young lady who you know. I'm going to tell you her name. She thinks that you and her have a chemistry, so she would love to take you out on a date so you guys can, you know, see if you hit it off. And the reason we're calling you is because we're willing to pay for that date and we'll let you choose the place anytime you want to just let us know uh we'll reserve everything just so you and this lady can get to know each other better and see if you hit it off so basically it's a win-win situation like at the absolute worst you you feel like you her you and her don't have a chemistry but you still have a good meal I'm, I'm, I have no idea what's going on okay. right now. What, what is this? I know that was a lot. That was a lot of information. Okay, let's just start off. I'm going to tell you the girl's name. Okay. Okay, so her name is Nicole, and she said you guys went out before. She would love to go out with you again because she feels like you hit it off on your date. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, uh, I, 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 I don't really feel comfortable. Is, am I in the air? Was this yeah, no, I no, 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 no. I mean, we're, we're, she called us up, so we're calling you on her behalf, and, you know, again, you don't have to do it, but if it's a no, can you, we just, can you tell us so we can tell her? She seems very confused. I mean, I I don't really feel comfortable talking about this at all. Like, uh, actually, dude, I gotta go. I'm, actually, I'm at work, dude. I gotta, no, I gotta no, no, go. Can, can you just, just real, real, real quick, just let us know what it is. Like, she just was very confused, and she would like some sort of closure. Oh my god, dude! Here's the thing. It, so, oh my god, I can't believe I'm telling you this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I showed up to, to my buddy's work, and um, like there was this very cute girl, super fine. And I asked my friend, I was like, "Hey, man, can you hook that up? Can you, like, is she single? Do you know anything about her?" And he shows up a couple days later with her number, and um, we started messaging. It was great. It was awesome. We hit it off. And then I showed up to a date. We made a date. And, dude, the, the girl on the date was just a total f- rhino. Like, it, it wasn't even the same girl. Because my buddy's a dick and we f- with each other all the time. Stop it. Stop pressing. Stop Nic- Nicole's it. on the phone oh right God. now. Like, she heard you what you said. Dang, bro. Wait, I just Wait, need to. Uh, you, you said Nicole's on the phone. I don't and think she heard he gets what you what's going on. Her. She heard you call yeah, her a rhino. Yeah, hello. But, Preston, I'm oh on the phone. God. Are you saying that your friend did that on purpose? Yeah. I mean, this feels, I had no idea that you had this girl. I had no idea what this is right now. But, yeah, my, he, it was a prank. It was just a goof. And <laughs> Dude, that's just, you're disgusting. Like, that's disgusting. But, first of all, I'm, I'm not disgusting. This wasn't my prank. Like, you, A, you're disgusting. And, B, it was my wow, buddy. Really? 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 Dude, why are you so mean? <laughs> I'm not trying to be. Look, it was just a f- joke. Like it's not. He, it was his idea. I didn't do this. Okay, well, you were a very nice person, and I'm sorry, like, but like, well, you don't have to yo, be evil. Big. 
Like, you're your children. Like, grow the f- up. Like, how old are we, dude? We had a fine time on the date. I was not a dick in person. I felt really weird and blindsided. But, like, honestly, I, I mean, I've got standards. Like, it's just, <laughs> we're not gonna, there's not gonna be a second date, I don't think, on my end, because, I mean, I got, well, yeah. Clearly, that's why you're still single, dude. Like, I, there's not gonna be a second date on my end either. And, like, good f- luck finding anyone else who wants to date your ass. Monday on the second date update on the 10th. All right, listen, uh, when two cheaters start a relationship with each other, you just know. You just know it's going to end up with them talking to us. So listen at 610, okay? Blah. You're going to learn right. something with the second date update on the 10th.